What is up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Space Marine. In the last video we linked up with Lieutenant Mira of the 203rd Cadian Regiment. Imperial Guards, yeah. And we also linked up with a Sergeant, Veteran Sergeant Sidonis. We also got a Stalker Bolter, which is like that. Nope. Oops. Dang it, I keep on doing that. That, that. that keeps happening. And we're on our way to that huge, huge, huge tower over in the distance to secure it from these foul greenskins. Is that a greenskin? Yes, it is a green skin. Bang, dead. <laughs> they won't be high for long. They'll be dead. 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 Yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really accurate at this thing. Oh, there's. Oh, I thought I killed you. Uh oh, that's a grenade. I think that's all of them dead, so let's move up. Uh, where am I supposed to go again? Oh yeah, this way. This game is fairly linear, sadly. There isn't so much as f of a freedom as I would like. However, there is a game that's coming out soon. I don't know, there isn't exactly a release date, but it's soon. Uh, Space Hulk Deathwing? Oh, hi! Dead. Yeah, Space Hulk Deathwing is just from what I and from what I understand from the trailers, it's essentially, it is essentially like Left 4 Dead, but with Warhammer 40k, and you're playing as Terminators instead of regular Space Marines. Terminators being like elite Space Marines who have bigger, better armor, they have less maneuverability, but they have teleport packs or jump packs. Yeah, they yeah they basically have teleport packs to let them move from place to place easily while and holding them. They're things like like wrist mounted flamethrowers, like chain guns. Their audio log. Guardsman Alexander. We'll listen to those later. <clears throat> For now, let's head through this way. Kill the foul greenskins. Rip them limb from limb or something. <clears throat> rock. Oh yeah, that's how the orcs usually get onto planets and stuff like that. Things called rocks, which are essentially... What? Okay, that Gretchen decided to just sort of not ragdoll when I killed him. Weird, but okay. Yeah, space marines to kill, as well as green skins. What's back here, I wonder? Oh, grenades. I don't use grenades a whole lot, though. Not for not, not for what individual enemies, more like hordes and anything else. We're getting close to the gun turret, I do believe. Is that ammo? Yes, it is. Yay, glorious, wonderful ammo. Unfortunately, the ammo for the, the ammo for the bolter and the soccer bolter is not infinite. The pistol, the pistol is. I don't understand why. <laughs> it's like he is, Captain Titus has a pocket, has a pocket full of infinite rounds for his bolter pistol, even though they technically run on the same type of ammo. Ah, it's a horde. I'm gonna use a grenade here. And then into the frenzy of hand-to-hand -hand combat. This is just this, this is a lone dude here doing goodness knows what. Wait, wait, where'd he go? Nope. I would see you die. And he's dead. Ow! Sure. Here, have this. And then this. Did I, just, did I chop him in half? No, I didn't. I chopped most of him off. Not all of it, most of them. Right, okay, let's get in here. Might be getting a new weapon soon, I'm not entirely sure which bit of the game I'm in right now. Uh, I, yeah, we're getting we're getting up close to Manufactorum Ajacus. Ooh, a drop pod! And by assault, su assault support pods, he means jump packs. Then <laughs> he just sort of walks in there, but a second later comes back out. Hold space to fire the jump pack. Oh. Hold space to fire up the jump pack while in flight, tap mouse 2 to blast the ground, killing a single most enemy circuits. So basically, I can pass space to do this and fly! Oops. I can fly, and while the two of them deal with the orcs down there, I'm gonna go run around and do things on the high ground. 
So you can see the little indicator at the bottom, down on the ground there. I can, I use the, I can use my right mouse button to slam down just like that. Cause lots of damage to enemies in the area. Where are they? Oh, I hear gunshots. That means they found orcs, and I'll find, and I'll soon I'll find, I'll be finding orcs too. Can I have? Oh no no! Oh yeah, that's right. I'm only limited to the bolter and the, the bolt pistol with the jump pad. Whoops! The jump pack. Whoops! Hey guys! Hi! Ow! Sure. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! Yeah! Eat chainsword and boo. No, you don't. There's a there's a couple of tech boys wandering around here, around here giving me trouble. I can just stun them and then execute, 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 execute. There's another guy over there that I need to kill. Hi. Hi, my name is Titus. Nice to meet you. Now die. Oops. Okay, never mind. Go squish. You and squish too. Yeah, gotta love that. Just imagine like a, like a, a seven foot tall, several hundred pound human amalgam of man and machine just sort of slamming down at you at a million mile, a couple hundred miles an hour. You can imagine what that does to human flesh, or orc flesh as it were. Kill him dead. No you don't. If they were alive, they were probably dead by now with the fall. Anything else up here? It doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, I can't hover with these things. I think I'm a bit too heavy. <laughs> we gotta go this way, I think. Well, the rest of my Space Marine buddies catch up. And is it gonna give these guys a helping hand? Ground pound! Die. Oh, but now he's one-handing the bolster like it's nothing. Nope. I need I need health, so I need to kill you, dead. Thank you for that. Granato, granato, pashlan. Bloodshed, 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 killing more bloodshed. We're getting better weapons too. We'll be getting better weapons out the game. Don't worry about that. Am I supposed to go through here? Doesn't look like it. I think I need to follow them down. Eh, boom! Sandwich meat. Right. Here we are breaching the gun turret. And we don't need this anymore. Jump back, Captain. And we don't need that anymore. We should the orcs right into the gun Smart. Chapter 3, Belly of the Beast. Defense Battery Goliath. Me no see any green skins through that, so let's keep moving. They must be using they must be using these cables to power the to power the gun bar the gun gun barrel? Gun turret. That's what I was trying to say. Set, please don't turn off system. Oops. There's a wall there. What the hell? Oh, it's an objective marker. Hello? Anyone around? Oh, green skins. Yeah, yeah, no much. No matter how much you shoot them there, they're, they're not gonna do much. Objective complete. Enter the gun fortress. Can you see how huge these bullets are? <laughs> that bullet is just a shell, is more than anything else. Gretchen! Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We will find a way to destroy the gun. Well, since we can't reclaim the gun, we're gonna destroy it. 
I got shot at from somewhere. Where did I get shot at from? Uh, if if I remember correctly, we had to. Oh no, we, I, I gotta use that thing. Hold on a sec. I gotta get a new specialized piece of equipment just for this special occasion. And this thing is a vengeance launcher, which is basically a. I sent fire orders to detonate. This the experimental Gryer pattern vengeance launcher. Basic, basically, it's a sticky grenade launcher. Oops. Well, can't go that way anymore. But uh, oh, which, way, which way are we going? We're going this way, apparently. Uh, are we going this way? Yeah, we are going this way. You'll see in a minute why uh, we need why we need this thing. There it goes. Uh, if my... If I remember correctly, we should be coming up on our... Oh yeah, you can stick the you can stick grenades to enemies like that and just sort of blow them up. Or you can stick the grenades to walls and blow them up. And like, blow them up that way. Like that. More useful than their grenade launcher that I just that I just picked up. Maybe. The hell is this thing? Look here, Captain. Melter charges. Put those in the right place, and this whole fortress will come down. Yep. Could put the charge on one of the gun shells. The Andros, you do the chapter proud. Melter bombs. Melter Bomb is basically this world's version of C4, only more powerful. Oh crap, I'm running low on this thing, I just realized. Dead. Dead. Oops. Oh, my mouse likes to wig out on me sometimes, I don't know why. I think my... It might be because it's like four years old. Ow! Dirk. This guy has to die. Thank you. You can see why you can see why I like this game already. It's just full of like over-the-top violence and bloodshed and dramatic killing and whatnot and whatnot. Uh oh. It's like I heard greenskins on <laughs> I heard greenskins on the wind. I wasn't wrong. Come get over here. Hello. Shell storage is below. Well, we did pass a shell loader just now, we just we didn't have the equipment to blow it up until now. Right, so let's go down. Hopefully find a checkpoint. Uh-oh. Okay, never mind though. The door isn't. The door ignores those bo those those bodies. If they were actual ragdolls, I probably would have. You can see how huge the space marine armor is compared to their heads. Can you can imagine like their shoulders are like a good a quarter of the size of these pauldrons. These pauldrons would be enough to kill a man in real life. Right, so we are down here in the basement of gun placement Goliath. Oh, I see a Hey! Don't escape. Nothing escapes my eagle eyes. Anyway, we will continue our quest to sabotage gun battery Goliath in the next video. So Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. Ooh, surface skull. Not about to run short of ammunition. Yep. Oh, that's a that's a that's a log for mirror. I didn't even realize that. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video, leave a like, and a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for more gaming videos, and I will see you guys in my next video. Ta-ta.